everyone. My name is Kathleen Holko and I am an educator at the Bruce Museum. I'm so pleased to bring to you today Digital Bruce Beginnings, a program for children ages three to five and their caregivers. Today we are going to talk about moving with art. We are going to look at some artwork from the museum's online exhibition, read a book about visiting a museum, and then talk about some interactive play and activities that you can do with an adult to allow you to move more with art. I hope you enjoyed today's program. So let's get started. Today we are going to look at the artwork of an artist named Lawrence Anderson Ring, who went by L.A. Ring. L.A. Ring was an artist who lived in a country called Denmark over a hundred years ago. He was a painter, and he especially liked to paint pictures of his friends, families, and neighbors. Before you view the rest of this video, I encourage you and your adult to pause the video and visit the museum's online exhibition for On the Edge of the World, Masterworks by Lawrence Anderson Ring from SMK, the National Gallery of Denmark, at www. Dot LA Ring Exhibition dot com. In particular, please visit page five of this exhibition called Intimacy and Presence. There you will find many portraits that LA Ring painted. Portraits are pictures of people. Take a close look at those portraits. Is there any one portrait that you really like? Why? Ask your adult what is their favorite portrait? Then, maybe that you can take some turns pretending to pose like the people in your portraits. So, pause the video, visit the exhibition, and try posing like the people in the portraits with your adult. I'll see you back here in a minute. Now that you've had a time to visit the museum's online exhibition, why don't we read a story about a young girl who gets to visit the museum and all the things that she gets up to when she visits. Today, we are going to read the museum. It was written by Susan Verde and the art in the book was made by Peter H. Reynolds. When I see a work of art, something happens in my heart. I cannot stifle my reaction. My body just goes into action. This one makes me want to pose and stand up on my tippy toes. Now I'm all twirly whirly twinkly, sparkly, super swirly. Whew. Exhausted. I take a breath. I can't wait to see what's next. Hmm, I think I'll analyze the who's and what's and where's and why's. I'm starting to feel so sad and blue, heavy, lonely, through and through. I think I need something to eat. Those apples would be a tasty treat. I'm skipping through a field of flowers. I could keep this up for hours. Fragrant, soft, and so delightful. <gasps> Suddenly, it's all so frightful. I make silly faces at a guy. He did it first. I do not lie.
I'm giddy from all these lines and squiggles. I collapse into a fit of giggles. Wait, what is this I see? An empty canvas stares at me. Where is the color? What does it mean? It's the strangest art I've ever seen. Is this a joke? I shut my eyes and something happens to my surprise. I start to see things in my head, yellow, blue, then green and red, circles, lines, all kinds of shapes, faces, flowers, and landscapes. I open my eyes and look once more at the canvas that I saw before. It's mine to fill the way I choose, a purple dot, a pair of shoes, zigzag lines, the deep blue sea, a portrait of my mom and me. No longer blank, it's my creation. I am feeling such elation. What a glorious time I've had. I've been scared, silly, mad, and glad. I'm energized from head to toe, even when it's time to go. The museum's closed for the night, but I know that it's all right. Its rhythm exists in all I see. The museum lives inside of me. The end. Wow, that little girl got into a lot of interesting adventures at the museum. She had a lot of emotions and did a lot of things. Right now, why don't you and your adult go back to page five of the LA Ring exhibit and look at the portraits again. Do any of the portraits make you feel a certain way? Like, do any of them make you collapse into a fit of giggles? Or do any of them make you scream? Pause the video and with your adult, go back to page five and talk to your adult about how the different portraits make you feel. Make sure you find out from them how they feel when they look at the portraits too. I'll see you back here in a minute. Now that we've had some time to look closely at art, and read a book about visiting an art museum, why don't we take some time to stretch our minds and our legs? To begin, think about with your adult what it would be like to have your portrait painted by an artist. How fun would that be? Think about what clothing would you wear? How would you pose? Would you sit? Would you stand up? Try it out. Pick out an outfit and pretend like you're posing for an artist who's going to take your portrait. Remember, you're gonna to have to stand that way for a long time. It takes a long time to do a painting. And then, if you or your adult has a camera, have your picture taken and then look at it. How does your portrait look? Are you happy with it? Would you make any changes? Try that out with your adult. Another activity you can try is make your own museum. You can use anything you want in your museum, as long as you have an adult's permission. You could use pictures from your home, or you can use some of your artwork that you've made. Pots of flowers, maybe different knickknacks you have around your house. Set them all up in one spot in your home, and then show your adults and other people living there your mini museum. What things did you include in it? Why did you include those things? Explain to them so they can understand why all those things are there. And finally, if you're interested, go back to page five of the LA Ring exhibition and think a little bit about what the different people in the portraits might've been like. 
What do you think they were thinking about when L.A. Ring was doing their portrait? Or what do you think they were like? Were they a happy person? Were they a silly person? Why do you think that? What might their jobs have been? Once you've thought about that, try making up a story about them with your adult. What kind of adventures would they go on? Give it a try and share your stories with each other. I want to thank you for joining me today for Digital Bruce Beginnings. For more digital content from the Bruce Museum, please visit www.brucemuseum.org. Thank you for joining me today. Bye, friends.